hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving another sql lead code this is of the category hard and the question number is 185 department top three salaries so let's begin with the question so we have two tables one is the employee table and the other is the department table the employee table has these columns id name salary department id and the department table has two columns id and name this is department id and this is department id so this is a foreign key these two tables are connected via department id column a company's executives are interested in seeing who earns the most money in each of the company's departments a high earner in a department is an employee who has a salary in the top three unique salaries for that department so you have to find out employees that have or that are in the top three when it comes to highest salaries write a solution to find the employees who are high earners in each of the departments result return the result table in any order the result format is in the following example so these are our input tables the employee table department table we have two departments one and two and as you can see over here the department ids over here are also one and two and the output over here is for the department it we have Max, Joe, Randy, and Will. So ID is ID department ID number one. So the highest salary for department ID is ninety thousand. So Max is over here. And the second highest salary is eight thousand five hundred. And we have two employees who earn eight thousand five hundred. So we have Joe and Randy. So we have Joe and Randy over here. And then we have Will seventy thousand. Which means if two employees or even more than two employees are having the same salary we have to include those in our result set as well it does not mean that we will have just three employees in the top three it, there can be more than three as well if they're earning the same salary then for department id number two there are just two entries so we have both the entries over here henry and sam so let's let's write the query so i will be using window functions in order to solve this problem and since we have two tables employee and department we will be joining those two those two tables via the department id column so let's do that and in our output we have three columns let's write those first is department name which will come from this table so I will be giving aliases to both the tables D for department table and E for employee table. So D dot name. This is the department name. Then we have employees. So E dot name. E dot name would be employee name and D dot name would be department name. Then the third column is salary. It should come from the salary table. Sorry, employee table. And I will be using window functions. I will be using dense rank. Why dense rank? So when it comes to window functions, we have three functions, row number, rank, dense rank. And if these are the sales or let's say salary in our case, row number would be simply one, two, three, four, five, six. When it comes to rank, it will be one, two, two. So if the salary or sales is same, so it will be two, two. And after that, the next highest sales or salary would not have three, but the number four, because we we will we will be skipping the number three as as already two has been used as the rank twice so one two two four five six but when it comes to dense rank we will not be skipping any number so in this case one two two three four five and in our case since we want the top three salaries we will be using dense rank so let's write that dense rank over partition by so partition basically means grouping so we'll be grouping it by department ids because in each department what is the highest salary we need to find so d dot d dot id and we will be ordering it by salary in descending order and we will give an alias rank to this and we will be joining the two tables employee and department so from employee e join department d on e dot id is equal to so 
sorry e dot department id is equal to d dot id let's run this this is not a final answer but i want to show you all the result so this is the output that we're getting right now sorry here these are the department names these are the employee names and the salaries and here is the rank so what we did we just grouped it by department ids so department name in this case so we actually grouped it by department id but in our output since we are selecting department name we are seeing department name so department id so we have we uh, we have partitioned it we have grouped it and then we are giving it rank dense rank how are we ranking it we are ranking it by ordering it by salary in descending order so 9000 8 sorry 90000 85000 85000 70000 then rank would be 1 2 2 3 4 we are not skipping any number in dense rank which is why 1 2 2 3 4 and in our output we need max joe randy and will only we need to just select or filter and get only those employee names where the rank is 3 or less than 3. So 1, 2, 2, 3. And same goes for sales also. Wherever the rank is less than or equal to 3, those employees should come in our output. So now what I'm going to do is I will be using CTE. What is a CTE? CTE is a temporary table. Employee CTE as and when I do this this will simply create a temporary table which will be returning this now let's filter it further let's give the aliases um, so in our output d dot name will be called department and this will be called as employee and this will be select department comma employee comma salary and now I will be filtering it where from from which table the CT what is the name of the CT employee underscore CT where rank is less than or equal to 3 so wherever the rank will be less than or equal to 3 those should come in our output and only these columns should come in our output let's run this and this has been accepted this is our output so this was quite easy all we had to do was we had to use dense rank dense rank over partition it by the department id and then you order it by salary in descending order and then you will get ranks and you just have to filter that using rank so you just need to add where rank is less than equal to three those employees should come in our output let's submit this and it has been accepted i hope this was clear and with that i will end this video make sure to check out our ebook make sure to check out our playlist and if you found this video helpful make sure you like the video comment down subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching